Let's start. Let's start. So, like uh, when we talk about uh, Oracle application, this is the same function that we have. And uh, uh, my client group. And let me share my PPT again. Let me share the PPT again. So, like when we talk about Oracle Fusion HCM. Uh, enterprise is the thing that we are supposed to uh, see. Let me check the testing here. Huh. Go to workforce structures. Where is my client group? Workforce structures. Yeah. Okay. And now we are going to discuss about uh, uh, these things. Now, coming to business units, divisions, reporting establishment, enterprise, and we have discussed about divisions, departments, business units, and uh, latest, latest data groups, manage enterprise HCM information. So, what is manage enterprise HCM information? This is an interview question. It is asked everywhere what is enterprise HCM information. So, when we talk about HCM information, here we discuss about uh, that uh, where is the uh, 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 where is the uh, just let me open that thing. Okay. So in this manage enterprise HCM information, we discuss about uh, single assignment and multiple assignment, two-tier employment model, three-tier employment model. So whether it's an employment model, two-tier employment model, or three-tier employment model. Two-tier employment model means like a single assignment is there. And three-tier employment model is like a, a double assignment is there. So, so that is the thing. Okay. So two-time and what are the working working hours of the uh, of the what are the working hours? What are the standard working hours? What are the work start time? Work for the work work uh, work end time, and yes. all these things. What is the person number generation? Worker number generation. What is people group flexible structure? What is salary level? Worker number generation is mostly legis when you have a legislation attached to it, right? And person number generation is like it's a single record. You have a unique ID in the system. Yes. That means every person number has a unique ID in the system. Okay. So every okay. person number has a unique ID. Suppose you are an employee and you have an, an, a unique ID in the system. So in that case, you are the you are the only employee who has who are the person number who is the employee number who is the uh, employee number uh, uh, who is the only employee in the system. Okay. So you are, you okay. have a unique ID in the system. So person number is unique ID and worker okay. number is like worker number is like what it is the it is the uh, like it is worker number is like when you are. Uh, 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 that the number generation is not to pause uh, what we call it. Worker number generation is not, uh, uh, sorry, it is it, it has a legal employee attached to it, legal entity attached to it. This is the difference. Difference between worker number and person number. And it is, in, uh, it is asked everywhere. Okay. So each person has the same human ebola. As a person, unique ID. <coughs> okay. It can be allocated manually or entirely, at automatically or manually. And worker person number. Worker number also has worker number. You can define that worker number is legged legislative specific. Each person has a worker number. Worker numbers are not used. We can person number is generated when the person is created the system. We can say person number is the base feature in the enterprise. Each person has a worker number. Worker numbers are not. We also enable workers' numbers. Employees continue to work the work relationship. When we enable the worker number, both enterprise and legal employees level. Worker number are the enterprise and the legal employees. So now, when we go to manage enterprise XCM information, manage enterprise legal XCM information, and the second one is manage enterprise legal entity information. So when we talk about manage enterprise L entity legal information, so it is what it is what it is called manage enterprise uh, legal information, where we discuss about the standard working hours. Workers' time, kya honge, 
स्टैंडर्ड वर्किंग आर्स वर्क स्टार्ट टाइम एंड टाइम ग्लोबल पर्सन नंबर जनरेशन एम्प्लॉयमेंट मॉडल वर्कर नंबर जनरेशन सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर क्या लाइक दे वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट दीज थिंग्स ठीक है ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एंड सेकेंड इज वी डिस्कस अबाउट मैनेज एंटरप्राइज लीगल एंड स्कीम इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड second is manage legal entity exam information these two things are there manage entity legal information so when we talk about these things any 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 thing and uh, select any le select any le search okay search any legal entity okay xyz okay search any okay. legal entity and when we talk about here also we are going to discuss about the worker start time and end time standard working hours standard working hours duration so one and <coughs> so one more thing it can be a payroll legal entity can also be a legal employee it can also be a payroll salary unit okay okay and uh, salary level worker number generation minimum start minimum retirement age maximum retirement age employment model minimum working age and maximum working age worker number generation so all these things we are going to discuss in the Uh, worker number generation so all these things we are going to discuss about the uh, worker number generation and uh, payroll statutory unit okay worker gener- number generation uh, ma- in managed enterprise legal information we have discussed about the worker start time end time and working hours minimum retirement age where we are going to set the uh, um, uh, set these things and also we have also the another important thing is that in managed enterprise legal entity information we are also going to set the position synchronization ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है पोजिशन सिंक्रोनाइजेशन वी डू इट ओवर हियर ओनलीजिशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनिजेशनि
where is my ppt here so you can see it is a three tier employment model or we can have a two tier employment model but what is the significance of this thing i'm asking what is the significance of employment model this is the interview okay. question to ask everywhere what is the significance of employment model assignment employment model is like uh, uh, like we have a two tier employment model and we have a three tier employment model two tier is like we have a uh, we have what we have actually uh, two assignment level is there i'll show you the difference i'll tell you difference between Different. The two terms include the work relationship assignment entity. The three term model includes the employment terms entity, in order to work relationship and assignment. Okay. The employment okay. terms entity is position between work relationship and entity. That means, uh, 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 how many types of employment models are there? Two tier and three tier. Mm -hmm. Only if no work relationship exists. Three tier employment model to a two tier employment model only if no work, work, work relationship exists system. in the enterprise or legal employer. Includes the employment terms entity in, in addition to work relationship and assignment. The three tier model includes the employment terms entity in addition to work relationship and assignment. And uh, the two tier employment model doesn't have any work relationship. Okay. Okay. Work relationship okay. assignment. Three tier model. Two tier uh, model. If no relationship exists in enterprise or legal employer. May what we are going to discuss assignment number, assignment status, business unit, this department, person type, job okay. position, grade, salary, manager details. So all these things are there, and uh, work relationship. What we are going to discuss: legal employer, worker type, hire date, and worker type is employment uh, employee, contingent worker, non-worker. So all these things are going to discuss. Employment terms. Okay. What we are going to business unit, contract details, job position, grade, department, workers, and payroll details. An assignment. What we are going to discuss? Assignment, assignment number, number, assignment, assignment status, status, business unit, department, position, grade, salary, and manager details. So all these things we are going to dis discuss. Work okay. relationship is a relationship between a person and a legal employer. All work relationship must uh, must complete a um, person and legal. All work relationship must complete one assignment. Primary work relationship for worker or non worker must have one work relationship. Terminate the primary work to you terminate the work relationship, not workers or non workers. So this is the primary work relationship. Now coming to, okay. or should uh, I have done this thing? Actually, we have completed this thing. Hmm. Have we have completed this things? Yeah, I've I've seen I've shown you how to create a. Theoretically, we have done. Practically, we have not done. The global no. person model is what a global person model means. A person cannot be create a person cannot have a single record in the enterprise. A, a person cannot have a single record. You cannot create a person's record in isolation because person's record requires one of the following: current, past, future relationship with a legal employer. Okay. Okay. So a person's okay. record holds information that is personal, such as name, date of birth, and a person's records. All persons, work, non-workers, contacts have a single person record in the enterprise, which is identified with the person number. So you cannot create person's record in isolation because person record requires one of the following: you cannot a current, past, future relationship with a legal employer. Okay. okay, so a okay. person's record is what? A person record is created, not created in isolation. You have to create a person's record. A law workers contacts have a single person, and all the things uh, we have to create in a person's record. Uh huh. Uh, uh, connected to a legal employer, but you cannot create a person's record in isolation because person's okay. isolation means what does this mean? That means it is a global person model. Suppose if a person is hired, that person's record is already there in the system. And it will okay. not be deleted. That person's okay. record uh, hired. Okay. Now, when you uh, when you delete that person's record, when you when that person is terminated, still that record okay. will still be there. Okay. Still that record yeah, yeah. will be there in the system. Okay. Yeah. When we search yeah. for the when you search for that employee, that person's record will still be there. When uh, when yeah. you search it on Google. Okay. Now. Yeah. Now uh, now again when the uh, when he again he rehire that employee. So when we rehire that employee. What we are going to do? That person's we can uh, when you can change the effective date and you can see that the person's record is available or not. So when you change yeah. the effective date, you can see that from the new date, you can see that person is hired. We have to rehire that employee, but you are going to change the date now. So when they you yeah. can change the effective date, you can see that the person is hired from the new hire date. 
okay you okay. can see that record in the uh, uh, because the oven obviously it is a back heating record but still that record will be there okay 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 now what is the person record either when you add a person in the as a contact you can add person record when you work on enterprise in the enterprise so you can create a person record by hiring an employee adding a contingent worker adding a non worker adding a pending worker so all these things we are going to do the practical i'll show you hiring a employee first okay go to my client groups new person person management we search new person we create an employee go to new person dashboard or we can hire an employee so here we can convert new person new person dashboard is like when we convert the uh, 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 the uh, pending worker to uh, uh, this one no, to where employees so that is the thing we can do okay new person okay. Dash dashboard then we have hired an employee hired an employee is like when we create a when we hire an employee hire an employee okay hire is hire to build a vacant position now legal employees like what us acha us ins legal entity us legal entity i'll take us legal entity okay theek okay? hai okay last name suppose i write here amit kumar write the um, kumar first name as amit okay So okay. uh, gender, male, whatever. Okay, and this is the now when we go to next. <clears throat> now this is the managing persons record I'm creating. So it will ask okay. for manage matching persons record. So don't Point go for next. these things because uh, continue. Okay. So this is personal information of the second page is personal information. Personal information क्या चाहिए? This will ask for address details, home address, okay. personal details, okay. uh, current address, permanent address. Go to address okay. and write there uh, uh, Dallas, Texas, suppose. Okay. Okay. Next. Okay, and now given the I nine status, I nine. E verify. Uh, you can start the new hire status. I nine status is work relationship Point. details. That means it will ask for you. I will say what is work relationship. First, tell me the relationship between the employee and the uh, uh, sorry employer and the assignment. Yeah. So this is the uh, uh, assignment details that I'm filling, and this is the employer details. That means for Ireland, we tax reporting structure. As we select the U.S. legal entity, this is the legal yeah. employer that we are using. So that is why okay. this is the. Suppose I I select U.K. Suppose tell me U.K. Let's say, but instead of taking this U U.S., we take U.K. It will not move ahead. It will cancel this operation. I will take U.K. this time. Any? What is that? Hmm. UK. Let's take UK and write there Amit Kumar.
Date of birth ke bina it will not move ahead in the later sessions. It shows a lot of problem. Okay. Okay. Now at this line there. Now see the things have changed. Island status is not there. Can you see? I will write here. Suppose. There's no idea about UK township. Uh, London kar de. Let's see about the UK uh, employment information. Yeah, see, see, work relationship has changed. Yeah. Yeah. See, it yes, depends. Yes. All depends what or what legal employer. Oh. Legal employer. What legal employer are you using? Okay. Okay. So you see, what is the thing that we have? We are seeing it, and you can see the payroll relationship. So I will take the UK part. So every time we take US. So this time we are taking going to take UK. UK business unit. Okay. Okay. Now, everything in the assignment window, everything in the employment information, we are going to discuss about the assignment number, business unit. And a uh, job position grade, whatever fields you are going to fill. Next, okay. so compensation is salary basis, salary amount. Okay. This is the salary okay. amount, and this is the salary basis that you're going to get save, and then, and then save. Okay, now done. What is the employee number? Person number is what? I give give it to her. Okay, I'll search for with the name of Amit Kumar, my home. Now, where? How are we going to search for this employee? Go to person management. Okay. Wait. Oh, oh, sorry. Search. Search in the name of Kumar. Ha, Ajay Kumar is coming. Okay, now going to find Amit Kumar. Okay. Uh -huh. It is not coming just because, just because, eight seconds. Uh, go to person management. So new person, we create the record. And second is person management, we search for that employee. Okay. okay. Uh, we go to Amit Kumar. I hope it comes this time. 
No, it is not coming. Just, just give me two minutes. Okay, we'll create a new. Okay, just see this employee. Okay. I'll show you how to do it. Okay. Okay. Now, when you click click on any of the employees, you can see the effective start date and effective end date. Okay. This is okay. the uh, this is the start date and this is the end date. and edit go to edit and you can see update and correct okay and you can okay. see the update and uh, update and correct records okay and then then we have we can see here the options over here absence cases when i teach you absences this this is the thing that you're going to teach you this is the costing part when i'm going to teach you personal okay. payment methods payroll relationship all these things we are going to teach you then we have the Personal and employment. Now, when we click on the personal employment page, we have the seniority date, salary reports, create work relationship, area of responsibility, talent or document of document records, person. Then we have the person. When we click on the person, we have the uh, then we have the current address and existing. We go click on the person information. Here we have okay. the. Person. We have the. Uh, uh then we have the home address and primary address so you can see the current address and primary address of this person okay so this is the person okay. address this is the primary address aadhar card and pan card you can see so this is the permanent address and pan and uh, and a, a, a person and the current address and permanent address of this person that you can see okay so this is okay. the way we can do it and again we have uh, Uh, uh this is the uh, person now go to employment when you go to employment we can see the legal entity employee work relationship is what is what create a work relationship that is a relationship between the employment employer the mm. employer and the uh, uh, assignment and assignment is the vice president of uh, vice president of hcm so this is the assignment and this is the Work relationship that we have. Now we okay. are going to click on. So this is the employment for employment details of this person, particular employee. What is the employee number? Hundred and sixteen is the person number, and Ajay Kumar is the person. Okay. 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 Now where do we go to? Uh, Create work relationship. Now we are going to create a work relationship. So one, uh, what we call create work relationship. Work relationship is what action, action, add work relationship, employee work relationship, pending work relationship, add contingent work work relationship, add employee work relationship. So whatever is action and action reasons, and okay. legal employer. And a title, first name, and last name, and then we can see the worker type. Worker type is what? Contingent worker, employee, and uh, and uh, this thing. Employee contingent worker, employee contingent worker, person number, and non-worker. So whatever is the employee. 
whoever is the employee. Then you can add the national identifiers. You can Aadhaar card and PAN card if it is an India legislation because it's an Indian person. So you can write the work relationship of this person. Okay. So you can write the action, add employee work relationship. Legal employee, you can add action, uh, add additional work relationship for employee. Legal employer, we can add India legal entity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then then go to next. Okay, you can save the legal employer. Okay. Now go to address line one. Okay. Okay. Legal employer. Now you can see when you see the work relationship as as US, then we have this. This is the legal employer we have. Okay, right? I oh, status. Oh. You can see US legal entity, and you can see this yeah, is the yeah. status that we have. Okay. Okay. And when we talk about uh, US legislation, then we talk about next business unit. You can type just a second. No business unit. You can write here U.S. business unit. Okay. Now okay. U.S. business unit will ask uh, when we talk about work relationship, it will ask about the assignment number, business unit name, assignment status, person type, uh, business unit. Uh, it will ask about the business unit name, expanded position name, job name, assignment name, grade ladder, grade grade late. At, uh, uh, grade, grade ladders. So, uh, working from home, worker category, assignment category, all these things we are there going to ask. Okay. Okay. So, like this is the thing. Next. Salary, not com compensation. Compensation means salary. Salary basis. What is the salary basis you're going to have? Salary amount is like anything. Okay. It can be anything you can put. Save. Okay, yes. Okay. Okay. Now this is the work relationship of this person number 116 that we have done. Now click on this box. This box is very important. This is the salary okay. part, compensation part. This is the personal employment part. Where we going to the personal employment, senior direct reports, work relationship, work area of responsibility, user account, and document of records, all these things we are going to discuss. Costing of a person, personal payment methods, ilium, and absences. Here we are going to discuss. Okay? This is the okay. thing we are going to discuss. Now coming to home. Click on 116 person number. Now I'm going to search for this employee. Go to person management, click on 116. Search. 
go to ajay kumar you can click on this also you can see here okay yeah you can see here okay so in this also you can this is the way also of the of searching thing okay 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 or else you can click on this go to the navigation 100% number 116 and then you can see this is the thing that you can find over here okay this is okay. the manager details and this is the thing that you are going to find okay 